Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Advance Wars. Today we're going to do Mission 3 against Mr. Question Mark Guy. Air Ace. So, uh, basically we're against a, what we believe is a hostile force on our nation. We don't know who these guys are and why they're here. Uh, we'll find out why they're here later on in the game. But either way, we have to take him out, so uh, hopefully we can do that. Okay, let's see if we can actually get intel on this guy. Okay, this guy's name is Eagle. Strongest fire pyre, ah, strongest firepower in the skies, but flounders at sea. Okay, so I guess this is an air specialist, so... Um, yay, I guess. We have to use some pretty good air tactics here because his planes are pretty powerful and he even has some bombers and some fighters too, so let's be very cautious when we're going through this level. First though, let's take out his B-copter. That is the first thing we need to get rid of. Now I've decided that I'm going to keep battle animations in the battle where we first meet a CO. So like since we're meeting Eagle for the first time, we'll leave the battle animations in. But if we fight him again, we will leave him out. So that's how I'm gonna probably do this. Uh, with the battle animations. Otherwise I'll turn them off. And like even then I might turn them off midway through the battle. Because uh some of the people like seeing those little uh facial expressions that they have. And I do too. That kinda gives the game some unique character I guess. So, for that reason and that reason only, I'm probably going to leave him in. So, let's see. What am I going to do next? I don't think he can go over here. Okay, I'll just go ahead and put my B-copter here. Now, you need to be careful, though, because Eagle actually has, in my opinion, one of the more dangerous CO powers. I mean, generally, CO powers are dangerous, but, like, Eagles especially, and you'll understand when you actually see what it does. It's very, very um, dangerous when it's used in the right way. Although I guess you could say the same thing about all CO powers, but... Well, maybe not all CO powers. There are a few ones that are kind of... Eh, but... We'll see all that later on. Okay, so Eagle's first move is he's going to move his planes down, which is a pretty smart move if you ask me. Okay, let's blast his B-copter out of the sky. I'd like to at least see his uh, winning uh, facial expression. And maybe his unit defeated defeat expression, but I don't know. We'll see if that happens or not. It probably won't. Because this chapter, honestly, isn't that hard or that bad. It seems, though, whenever I do this chapter, though, I make some mistake. I don't even intend to make the mistake. I just do, because I do. That's really all I have to say about that. I'll try my best not to make any mistakes here, but I can't make any guarantees. Like, there was one time where I accidentally got my, uh... T-copter in range of the fighters, which is not a good thing to do. And then I got my B-copter in the way of the fighters, which is another bad thing you can do. So yeah, I just keep making very stupid mistakes. And I don't even try to, it just happens. That's one of the um, biggest things about this game you have to watch out for. Okay, B-copter, I want to avoid that. Let's see, can you go... Okay. About right here. I think that's where his range stops. And I'll do it again. And I'll put a safe place for my T-copter. What? How did it... Oh, I guess that makes sense. But... I didn't think it'd go that far. Oh, well, I'll do this. There, I can't get in now. Although, if I move this, we'll be able to get in. What's its range? Nine. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, now I'm, I'm good. I can move you. Although, I can't move the t B copter anywhere because that'll be too risky. Actually, I'll move you right here. And for no reason, I'll also put you here. You here, and let's build another anti air because anti hairs will be very helpful here. And that's in turn. Okay, so we attack the medium tank, which wasn't that good of a thing to do, I guess, because it still has quite a bit of HP. Okay, unfortunately I can't get this fighter because he went to a very strategic location. But, that's fine, I can get the other fighter and the B-copter, so that worked out for me. And, yep, get the other one. Although, I'm sure it's probably obvious, since uh, HQ capture is usually the quickest way of doing things, uh, we're going to try to do that here, but we have to be very careful because of this bomber. Because if we land something there, it'll try to go for it. So we need to lure the bomber away with something. And I have just the thing. Make sure, okay, it goes there. Whoa! I accidentally hit the uh, enlarge window button. I don't know how I did that. My cursor's not even close to that. I must have hit like a shortcut key or something. Anyways, much apologies about that. Okay, I'll put you here. Yeah, I'll go ahead and lure this guy over. Unfortunately, I can't really do anything about the fighter for right now. Although I could just lure it over with my B-copter and, you know, attack with it. Because we do have that missile right here. Although, wait. I just thought of something. He is going to use his CO power next turn, so... That was probably a bad thing that I did that, but it's fine. I can take some damage, I'm sure. I can't take too much damage, but I can take some damage. Um, okay, I'm trying to think of what to do. Um, yeah, that'll do it for right now. I'll probably lose the medium tank, though, but I'm not going to cry about it.